Hey everyone, this is Tempest with OXO Cosmetics and I have the beautiful Corinne Beard of Cameron B Boutiques. She's going to tell us a little bit of background information about how she became about or how Cameron Boutique came about, how she became into the business that she came in and where she's going. Go ahead and take it away, Corinne. Well, the, my sister and I started this business. I'm a co-owner of Cameron B Shoes. Ten years ago, um, we came into the business because our father was in the shoe business. So we basically grew up in a shoe store. Um, we've been there quite a while. We're on 83rd and Ashland, and we carry branded, um, unique shoes and accessories and clothing as well now. Okay, so it sounds great. So it sounds like you guys had a, uh, you got, you got basically hit the ground running. In other words, right? <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> okay. So did you always think that you were going to have a taste for fashion, or is it just the fact that your dad was one of the first people, to, the first black males to actually have a, uh, is a shoe store on Michigan Avenue, correct? Yes, he did. Right. I thought Him that I read uncle. that. Yeah. So is this, this is something that inspires you guys to do something as you got older. You want to continue the legacy? It did. Actually, my dad didn't want us to be entrepreneurs because people don't realize the work that an entrepreneur puts in you know you think that it's fun I like fashion I like clothes I like hair I like you know but you don't the business aspect of it is what a lot of people don't tell you right um, so for us you know he wanted us to really get an education first work some corporate America so I actually worked um, I was like a marketing assistant on corporate America first and I called my sister like hurry up and graduate I'm tired of this <laughs> So. I can completely understand that. All right, so that actually just kind of leads me right into my next question anyway. Um, more so about the, um, when you say it's a business aspect portion, when you say running your own business. Now, seeing as the fact that you guys are running a successful business and you have grown up in a successful business-owned atmosphere your whole life, is there something that you can tell our audience about being a business owner that you haven't been told that you learned? You work longer and harder hours working for yourself. Um, but when you're in the fashion industry, it's a really fast-paced industry and it's very unpredictable mm -hmm. so you know when you work nine to five you go to work 40 hours you get paid for 40 hours that's not how it works when you own your own business right. you know um, sometimes you can make more than that but sometimes you might make less than that so you have to be very um, diligent and very focused um, a lot of the business aspect is like forecasting like we go to shows and we buy like six to twelve months in advance so you have to have the foresight of what's going to come up trying to coordinate the clothes with the shoes at the proper time so it's not just what you see and all the fun it's really like the logistics of when is this going to ship when is this going to ship will these things match will they come at the right time so there is a lot of business and paperwork that goes in behind owning a, a successful boutique yep see that's the part that people don't always know they see the pretty part of it yeah. like oh yeah she's the at the fashion is... shows and she looks good <laughs> perfect shoes she got everything in season so yeah they don't know anything about that okay so where do you see Cameron B going in the future so my sister and I would like to open a second store but probably maybe in the suburbs um, because we get a lot of customers that travel pretty far right. that come to our store, and it's not many boutiques that way. But we really, right now, are focusing on a second store online. So duplicating the business and sales that we have in store on an online business. So really reaching out socially and, you know, with all the internet connections and media to try and increase that traffic. I tell you, I shop online faithfully. A lot of people do now. I shop online faithfully because if you ask me to come in the store and I got to try <laughs> on seven different outfits, I can't make a choice. Me making a choice is like, you might as well put a gun in my hand. <laughs> I'm going to cry. But see, if I get to do it online, I'm like, okay, well, let me buy this, 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 and this. Yeah, and then and once I'm I have it, the I just it. I have to try everything on. So, like, I love going in the stores. So. And see, and I don't like to try anything on, yeah. except shoes. Okay. Now, shoes. You got to try shoes I on. can do shoes all day. Because shoes you just might wear between, me. like, two or three sizes. I'm telling you, you yeah. know, shoes don't change, but clothes <laughs> can change. Shoes are just fun. Yes. That's just great. Okay, so okay, so we see what we got our future going for Cameron B. Okay, so outside of that, what upcoming events that you guys have going on for Cameron B? Because I heard you guys having a reunion coming up. What is it, 10 years? It's our 10-year anniversary. I mentioned it a little bit in the beginning. We're so excited. We can't wait to share it with the people of Chicago. We have customers that have been with us since the beginning. Like, I remember my first dollar, my first customer. Oh, her last name was Mrs. Wilt, and I'll never <laughs> forget it. So, um... We are just wanting to share this moment with everyone that's been supporting us for the last 10 years. So we're going to have a big, huge fashion show outside of the store, like a venue. We did our five-year at the Grand Ballroom, mm -hmm. and it was about 350 people. So we're looking to duplicate that or do better. So you got to get your tickets early. Um, the ticket sales will start end of June, beginning of July, and the event will be in August. Okay. 
Sounds good. So why don't you go ahead and give everyone your follow-up information, how to follow you guys, how to keep up with when the tickets are going to go on sale for sure. Okay. So let them know everything that they need to know. So if you love shoes and fashion, be a man or a woman, for all walks of life, we have something for you. We carry branded shoes and styles, unique things by Jeffrey Campbell, custom styles we make. We're located um, on 8301 South Ashland Avenue. We're right on the corner. We do have parking in the rear. And you can find us on social media. Our name is Tricky. I share the business with my best friend and sister. So it's our names combined. Cameron B. It's spelled K-H-A-M-R-Y-N. B as in boy. So CameronB.com. And our social media, Twitter, Facebook, all our handles are at Cameron B. So we look forward to seeing you. And we hope you come celebrate with us for our 10-year anniversary. I guarantee you I'll be there, front <laughs> row and you. center. Well, maybe not front row and center, but I'm no, going to be shopping. Front row and center. <laughs> <laughs> front row and center, taking pictures. <laughs> All right, so we want to thank Corinne for coming out and speaking to us. And again, you guys got to follow up information. And you did hear that the tickets do go on sale. End of June, middle of July. You don't want to miss this. I heard that the five-year reunion was amazing. So trust me, I think the 10-year reunion, you want to be a part of that history. I know I will be. Thanks for coming out with us. And this is Tempest from OXO Cosmetics.